Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button down below because I'm trying to get to 25,000 subscribers before my birthday on November 25th and we are so, so, so close. So help a girl out, subscribe down below. Today I'm filming my biggest haul yet. Like seriously, I went crazy. All this stuff is from Abercrombie & Fitch and I honestly didn't think I would be shopping here after middle school slash high school, but here I am today doing the biggest haul on my channel ever. I'm just staring at the pile of clothes on my floor and it literally looks like the whole Abercrombie & Fitch store is in my freaking bedroom right now. So just prepare yourselves. It might be a long one, but it's gonna be so worth it. I was shook when I was on their website. They had a lot of great basics, especially going into the fall and winter seasons. I'm so excited because I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway in this video. I feel like I've gotten so many new followers in the past few months. So I just wanted to celebrate and do a giveaway for you guys. One lucky winner is going to win a $200 gift card to wherever they choose as long as I can send the gift card virtually to them. It can be like through Sephora, Abercrombie & Fitch, a Visa gift card even. The rules are very simple. So first being subscribed to me on this YouTube channel if you guys aren't already doing so. The second is to follow my Instagram at so underscore gnarly without the G. And lastly, follow my like to know it page. If you guys don't know what like to know it is, it's basically an app where you can shop all of your favorite Instagram influencers outfits that they post on Instagram or just like things that they talk about in their videos on YouTube. And it's just such a great place to easily shop and also just get fashion inspo, especially heading into a new season. It's always great to do that. So go ahead and follow me there. I'll obviously link all of these social accounts down below so you can just have a direct link, hit that follow button. Once you follow all three platforms, just come back to this video, comment that you've entered and then write out your Instagram handle and then your like to know it handles so that whenever it comes time to pick a winner in my YouTube comments, I can just go to your YouTube page, check if you're following, then check if you're following on the other platforms as well. So like I said, one lucky winner is gonna win a $200 gift card to wherever they choose if they follow all three rules and then come back to say they've entered and put all their handles in the comments on this video. I will also have all the rules written down below if you guys get confused, but let's jump into this haul because it's gonna be a long one. Grab a snack, grab a drink, chill out, and I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll start with bodysuits. I got a ton of just basic bodysuits because I feel like these are so comfortable to just like wear when you're working from home or you can dress up almost any of these bodysuits. This one is a ribbed nude bodysuit and I like that it's not just a tank top because with a tank top, I probably would tuck it in anyways, but then it would like come undone. So with the bodysuit, it doesn't untuck or anything. Your bodysuits are very high quality. This one is thick and I'll let you guys know about the other bodysuits. If you guys are wondering, I bought pretty much all larges and anything in this haul. Um, if you guys have any specific questions on like a piece go ahead and DM me on Instagram But pretty much everything is in a size large except for the pants because those are numbered and I'm also 5'3 So hopefully that helps when you guys are shopping for yourselves the next bodysuit is probably the most basic one I got. Also, I forgot to mention all of these bodysuits do come with buttons on the bottom, so it just makes it easier for all of us. And I got it in black. Next up is a tie-dye bodysuit. I definitely kept it a little bit more neutral. I did purchase one colorful tie-dye thing when the whole fad was going on, but I feel like it's definitely fading out, so I didn't want to get anything too busy that I wouldn't wear a ton. I would say it definitely has more of a marble feel than a tie-dye feel. I've definitely purchased bodysuits suits just like this one but this one is by far the most high quality one I've purchased because I can tell that this is not going to stretch out they also weren't this material I don't know what material this is but it's like stretchy but it's not gonna like stretch out if that makes sense all right so now we're gonna get into a few long sleeve bodysuits this piece will especially be great for layering because it is so thick it's definitely gonna keep me warm when it gets cold here next we have another sweater bodysuit and this one has a really unique neckline i think it's so beautiful and this one is a little bit softer than the last one it definitely has like a more like cozy sweater vibe i bought this sweater bodysuit solely as a layering piece because last winter i was just not as prepared as i thought i was Right now I'm obsessed with anything one shouldered so I had to pick this bodysuit up. It's just this long sleeve, almost like pink bodysuit. Not pink, but definitely not like nude or anything. Maybe a more muted mauve. I tried to get some kind of color in this haul because I didn't want everything in my closet to be just like browns, nudes, and blacks. Next, I got this Heather Gray high neck bodysuit and I'm obsessed with this bodysuit because it's so thick and it kind of like pulls you know, the girls up. And then the back has a cool crisscross design. And I got the same bodysuit in white. 
I swear we're almost done with bodysuits. This one is a satin cowl neck bodysuit. And I really like this one because it has that halter straps in the back. And it's just like, I feel like very customizable. This one did have two um, buttons, like two rows of buttons. So if you wanted to make it a little bit tighter, you could. And I don't know if all of them did, but I definitely noticed it on this one, so that's nice. This is the last bodysuit. It is another satin piece. And the back is really unique on this one. It has a super cute bow on the back. Now we're gonna get into the comfy bras that I got. So this one's up first. I got a scoop neck bra. I have something similar to this from Skims and I actually like the Skims one better, but they aren't really comparable just because they are different materials. The Skims one is more like a cotton fabric and then this one is like a normal bra fabric. So kind of just like that athletic-y, um, spandex-y feeling. Next up we have a v-neck bra and the same kind of material. I don't love this bra because I feel like it's separating my breasts and the padding is literally all the way up here and I just I don't think this bra is really made for me. Next up, we have this overlapping bra and it is in a rust color instead of black. I thought it'd be nice to have something more similar to my skin color. I think this is the same style as the last one I showed you in rust, but for some reason I just like it in black better. I knew this one was gonna be my favorite because it is a different material and I think I like cotton bralettes more than whatever like spandexy material the others were, but this is so comfortable, very soft. I honestly might just take out all the padding because I'll probably be wearing these bralettes at home and I just want to be as comfy as possible. Next category is tops. Like I said, I did want to add some kind of color into this haul. It ended up being the same color as that bodysuit and I feel like it's perfect for fall with that pink rust kind of color. So this t-shirt is very similar to that tie-dye bodysuit that I got. It just has like a little tie right here and very basic, really self-explanatory, but I thought I needed more basic tees. I feel like this is so random, but this might be my favorite thing that I've tried on so far just because it's so comfy. And something about Henleys, I'm just obsessed with like the button things and just like how comfy they look very fall. Like you wear this to a bonfire and you just like cuddle with someone. I'm going to the beach in October and I'm so pumped. I've been on the hunt for the perfect linen shirt. I saw this on the website and definitely had to try it out because it feels like that kind of linen-y shirt. It's not white, it's definitely like this canvas kind of color and material, but I actually kind of like it better than white because I feel like it's something a little bit different. I did get this in an XL because I did want it to be a little bit just like looser on me. I got the same shirt in this color orange, but this is a size large. So I don't know if you can tell, but it is kind of just like more fitted, a little bit more tighter on the arms, but I definitely wanted this just to be like a shirt that I wore with jeans, but the other one could be like kind of like a beach cover up. I'm a sucker for halter tops. I feel like they're just so flattering on anyone with big boobs. So I had to get this when I saw it on the site. It's super beautiful, very flattering. I probably won't wear it with shorts, maybe like jeans or like some kind of like a flowy pant. Time to get into dresses. We're gonna start with this beautiful button down dress. I feel like I say this in every haul, but I love anything with a tie, any adjustable waist. I feel like it's just so flattering. And I also love this color because the last haul I did, I had a lot of like that sage matcha color, but uh, a lot of the greens that I have in this haul are a little bit darker than that, but still muted and kind of more neutral greens. The next piece is this faux leather dress. I definitely think I could have sized down in this because I feel like it's a little bit loose over here where it should be a little bit tighter, but I love this color. I really like the structure of this dress. This piece is definitely one of my favorites. It is a nude ribbed mini dress, and I feel like it's perfect for working from home because it looks so mature, looks very put together, but it is super comfortable. We have another green piece. It is pretty similar to that button down dress, but this is actually a romper. And as you can see, it's short sleeve. So I feel like this is perfect because Austin is still not very cold. It's getting chillier, but I feel like this is perfect to wear for just like a day of errands or just going out on the town. Y'all, I love this dress. It is super duper soft. And I feel like this is also something I could wear on Thanksgiving because I like that it has like that silhouette. It definitely shows my curves off, but it's very conservative. You know, it doesn't show too much skin. This is the last dress I picked up. It's the thickest sweater dress. It is super cool because I feel like it really sucks me in because it's so thick and it's really comfortable. Um, and I also got it in that same green color. But I feel like Abercrombie also has like a lot of the same color palette, especially for this fall season. 
So a lot of what you saw in this haul has different color options to choose from. So the maroon dress that I just showed y'all does come in nude, but I thought I would try to get a little bit more color in my wardrobe, so I got the maroon. And same goes with a lot of the other pieces, so definitely go and check their website to see if they have other color options if you didn't like the color I chose. But anyways, back to this dress. I feel like it's definitely one of those lounging, work from home dresses. This is why I wanted to like get a lot of these basics because we are working from home and my my job is actually normally working from home so I wanted to invest in some pieces that I could get up get changed not stay in my pajamas all day feel like good and confident about myself so that I can have a productive day now we're getting into bottoms I'm gonna start off with these gems that I found I'm pretty sure that these are a dupe for the Agolde shorts that are so expensive they're like almost $200 they do look very similar and they have this little cut at the bottom so if you guys were looking for a dupe this is perfect these shorts are so comfortable because it's not like hugging your butt it kind of like flares out and I've been on the hunt for some Something like this so I'm so glad I found it next up we have these faux leather pants I still don't really know if I'm gonna keep these or not that's why the tag's still on them um, I feel like something's weird about like the bottom of the jeans like I know they're straight leg jeans and I love straight leg jeans but these are kind of like in the middle of like a skinny and straight leg so it's kind of like more of a boot cut and I just, I don't know. Comment down below if you think I should keep them or return them. I can't really imagine me wearing these that often and I saw really cool leather pants from like Aritzia or I think even Zara has some really cool ones that look really nice. So I might check those out, but I definitely wanted to add these because this is probably definitely a more affordable pair. I really like these jeans. I think it's like the 90s relaxed jeans. At first when I saw them off my body, I literally thought it was like as tall as me. It was so big lengthwise. And Honestly, I'm gonna probably end up cutting off the bottoms because they are a little bit long on me. These pants are the regular length and I'm 5'3", so hopefully that helps you all out when you are shopping these jeans. This is kind of what I was talking about because these are straight leg jeans, but they're kind of like a little bit flared, but kind of straight. Not like too straight where it's almost skinny, you know? So I'm definitely gonna keep these. I was just kind of like deciding whether I wanted to cut it or like get ones that are actually distressed on the bottoms, but I think I'm gonna cut it because I really like these. These next couple of pants, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep them or not, so that's why the tag's still on them, but these are some straight leg black jeans with a little distressing at the knee, and I actually made a TikTok with all the denim I got in this haul. A lot of people told me to keep these jeans out of everything that they saw in the TikTok haul, but I'm still not sure about them. Like, I feel like I just maybe don't like them because they're not black black. They're like a gray distressed black. Online, these jeans kind of looks like a yellow cream white pants, but in person, they kind of have like a pink undertone, which I don't really love. And I feel like the bottoms are that in between of like skinny jeans and boot cuts. And I also feel like the bottom of the jeans are just like cut a little bit too short. Like they're like right at angles. I know you guys can't see it, but. <laughs> Next up for bottoms, I have these tailored black shorts and they definitely remind me of chino shorts shorts. These are obviously more flowy than chino shorts, which is great because I don't really like anything too, too tight. I can definitely see myself styling these with an oversized blazer and some cute little pointed toe slides for fall. I have a similar pair of pants in white to these that I wear all the time. So I wanted to get more of those kinds of pants, but they sent me the wrong freaking color. I ordered it in, I think it's called khaki or just like a nude color. And they sent me it in terracotta. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. I know you guys can't really see it, but it is those like flared, like tailored pants. And it's very comfortable, like super flowy. And these could obviously pass for work pants too if you guys are back in the office. I saved the most comfy for last because I just wanted to kind of chill at the end of this video but we are gonna get into some sweatpants this one is super soft I feel like when I put it on I just wanted to like climb into bed like and cuddle because I'm so over this freaking haul I've been filming it for so long but it's gonna be worth it you guys are still watching comment down below because I feel like this is probably the longest haul that I've ever done but anyways back to the sweats they are this nude very muted almost like a gray I do have a gray that I'll show you guys next but this is like more of a nude tan color these are the sweats in the gray color and all of these sweats are joggers so they kind of crop in at the ankle and as you notice this one doesn't have a tie in the front which I kind of like like I wish I got all of these this last color is almost like a gray black I can definitely tell that this is a different style because it's a lot looser on the legs I feel like the last two were not like leggings but they weren't as like baggy I guess these are just some really cute PJ shorts that I got I feel like I'm just like 
outgrowing my PJ shorts or they're so freaking old that I need to like literally throw them in the trash or just like donate them. But I really liked this color. It's also like a ribbed, like almost like a velvet texture. These are the last bottoms I have. This is a true sweat short and these are so trendy right now. It's also super comfortable. Last category y'all, we are getting into sweaters and just like pullovers, hoodies kind of thing. So we're gonna start off with this sweater. It is actually so soft. It honestly kind of looks just like itchy and kind of like that thick, just like not super comfortable material. This is probably gonna be my most high quality sweater because I feel like I usually just buy my sweaters off of like Boohoo, which is like super fashionable, very trendy, but the quality is not there all the time with those. Before I forget, I wanted to show you guys this hat I got. This is like the only accessory that I got. I feel like I'm not a big fan of like the logo usually, but this hat was just calling my name. This is the next sweater I got. It does have a hood on the back. I feel like I've been hunting for one of these like zip up hoodies that are this like heathered gray color. I'm definitely going for like a beachy, chilled look with my wardrobe now. I don't know if you guys can tell. Usually I'm not a big fan of like cropped sweaters or anything because it just like doesn't look super flattering, but this is so comfy and definitely gonna be my new favorite sweatshirt. And I always feel like I have random fads and sweatshirts. Like um, the last one I really liked was this Gildan's Amazon sweatshirt that I wore all the time, but this is definitely gonna be my new favorite. Actually, I got a lot of good ones, so. It might be a toss up. Next up is this chunky cardigan. It is so comfortable, super big, and I definitely think this is gonna be a staple in my work from home wardrobe. Please no one ask me why I bought 100 million white hoodies slash sweaters because I don't know why. I think I blacked out when I was shopping, but I'm not complaining. These are all so comfy, like I just can't pick my favorite. I feel like it's very unique with the waffle texture, and it definitely gives me those beachy vibes that I was looking for. The one thing I hate about light colored apparel is that I get my makeup all over the collars. It's so annoying, but this sweater is adorable. The cuff on sweaters are never this long. You can scrunch it up to like give you a cool girl vibe, you know? All right, y'all, this is the last one. I feel like this definitely reminds me of something my dad would have had like back in the 90s. Like, I don't know, something about it gives me those vibes. But I love this style. It's gonna be definitely hard for me to choose what white sweatshirt or hoodie I'm gonna wear that day. But I'm so excited about everything that I got in this haul. Let me know what was your favorite piece in the comments down below. That wraps up this insanely massive haul from Abercrombie and Fitch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you stuck around, don't forget to enter the giveaway. One lucky winner is gonna win $200 to any store that they choose by following my Like to Know It my YouTube channel and my Instagram. Don't forget to comment all your handles down below on this video so I know that you guys have entered and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!